Well, Larry Anglisano reporting for AvWeb at Aviation Consumer. The Pilatus PC-12NG isn't the only single-engine turboprop on the market, nor is it the least expensive, but it's arguably the best in class based on its cabin payload and range. I'm going to go fly the new PC-12NG, but before I do, here's Pilatus' Jed Johnson to give us some more information on the 2013 NG. The 2013 PC-12NG is basically a compilation of all the changes and improvements uh, that have come over the years based on customer feedback as well as technology that's available today. And the air stair, of course, is in the front of the aircraft and that gives us a couple advantages as far as operating the airplane. When we load the aircraft, be it for just normal passenger transport or air ambulance or even cargo, the pilot is able to physically close both doors as well as access the cockpit without having to crawl through the entire cabin. A couple other unique features about the door. One is the stairs are solid milled billets of aluminum as opposed to welded or extruded uh, or riveted uh, pieces of metal. The door is completely counterweighted, so it's very easy to close from inside. So we're looking at the forward access compartments on the PC-12. There's two of these on each side. Obviously, they make it uh, very easy to maintain the aircraft and access things that need to be looked at. But from a pre-flight standpoint, you're able to see a lot of the things that are important. If you notice here, these are the fuel lines of the aircraft, and they're all outside the pressurized part of the airplane. There's also a master fuel shutoff here, which, of course, has to be turned back on before you can close it back up. And one other thing, looking inside here, if you notice, everything's painted. So anything that perhaps would leak or needs attention really jumps out at you. Here we've got the uh, engine compartment of the PC-12. This is a Pratt Whitney PT6-67P, and that's an 1,845 horse thermodynamic rated engine that's derated to 1,200 horsepower for takeoff and climb and 1,000 for cruise. The earlier models of the PC-12 had a B model of the engine, which was 1,605 thermodynamic, which were rated for 1,200 for takeoff. 1,000 for climb and 1,000 for cruise. So what that equates to is we're able to have that 1,000 horsepower at a higher altitude and we're also able to use a little more horsepower for climb. Electrically, um, the PC-12NG differs quite a bit from its uh, little brother, the, the legacy airplane, in that this is a complete dual bus electrical system. So we have two 300 amp generators. One of them, of course, is a starter generator. And that gives us quite a few more uh, things available if we happen to have one of those stop working. The older aircraft have a 300 amp starter generator and then a 130 amp standby. This is the business end of the PC-12. It's a uh, nearly eight foot diameter Hartzell four bladed aluminum propeller, reversible as well. So we have 1200 horsepower towing us forward and we have uh, a little over 800 horsepower in reverse. The uh, de-icing system here also is uh, electrical and what that does is at uh, less cold temperatures, it actually uses more heat, and at more cold temperatures, it uses less heat to, again, because of the icing certification rules, keep some of that uh, melted ice from uh, running back and freezing on the propeller blades. And these are pneumatic boots on the wing, and if you notice, these are actually milled into the leading edge of the wing to uh, make it a little more aerodynamic, as well as on the newer aircraft, now we're using fast boots, which makes replacing and repairing these boots much easier. We've got an overwing fuel uh, point as well as a bonding point. Each side has a single tank, 200 gallons, and both tanks feed the airplane's engine continuously. And if there's ever an imbalance that's created, either by fueling or just burning slightly different in flight, a pump will come on and actually run fuel faster from the high side to automatically balance the fuel. One of the most under-discussed safety features of the PC-12 is the fact that we've got an angle of attack measurement system. These vanes, there's one on each wing. They're associated with their own computer. And the fact that it's got a shaker and a pusher. So these, of course, are going to measure the relative wind going over the wing and the angle of attack of the airplanes going through the air. So the best feature of this is it's going to derive for us in the cockpit, which we'll see later, a dynamic speed bug, which gives us an exact approach speed as well as fully stall protecting us. So when we're in, for example, even icing conditions, this is gonna recalibrate what the critical angle of attack is. And again, full stall protection and exact approach reference speeds.
The setup is called a trailing link landing gear. So instead of a straight strut coming down, which may have on most airplanes in this category, three to five inches of travel, this has 14 inches of travel, which means one, it's gonna make your landings look good. Two, it's going to make off airport landings possible with this aircraft. The original aircraft had very tall winglets. We call them biglets. Then we use some smaller ones we call tiplets. This is the third iteration. These were basically crafted and designed and optimized during our PC-21 trainer program, and we use some of that technology on the PC-12NG, the latest version of the aircraft. Part of what gives the PC-12 its massive speed envelope are these gigantic Fowler flaps. You can see them here deployed at 40 degrees. They actually go all the way up underneath the fuselage. Gives us that 67 knot stall speed at gross weight great handling characteristics and if you look in here they're actually actuated instead of with roller bearings or roller uh, roller bearings and tracks there's actually milled articulating arms with sealed bearings in there that actuate the, the fowlers now yeah, we're up here in the flight deck of the pc-12 ng we're level at uh, flight level 250 uh, now jed this aircraft has got the honeywell uh, apex suite how does the apex suite make the uh, the pc-12 uh, easier to fly uh, than the previous uh, straight PC-12. Well, the Primus Apex system is really the baby brother of Primus Epic. So we get the benefit of all the symbology and architecture in that system, but we've optimized it for the single pilot operator. We've got the synthetic vision called Smart View, which there's a lot of features in here that allow you to easily find what you need very quickly. Each side of the cockpit has the engine instruments as well as the common nav frequencies. So you don't have to look around to find that. And as well, with four screens, we're able to display the ship's radar with TCAS and the ship's light detection. In the center screen here, we've got the Apex flight plan, along with a multifunction display moving map. So you're able to see XM weather, TFRs, and all the information that comes through that. Down below on the lower MFD, we're able to bring up a full-size chart. So we don't have to choose between those two. We can have them both up at the same time. Then over on the co-pilot side, we've got the terrain or the EGPWS system, along with traffic, as well as uh, the ship's light detection as well. The interface comes through this alphanumeric keypad. Again, the shortcut buttons that allow you to jump right to what you want to accomplish. And we've got this joystick that allows us to move the cursor around within the system, as well as the enter and page functions. As we move back, we've got another system or another device that lets us have a redundant way to interface with this. is called a cursor control device. We've got the same capabilities as the platform us, and this is right where your hand falls in flight. So when you're in turbulence, instead of trying to do a touch screen and bounce around, we're able to have a nice stable platform here to accomplish everything you need to. And you can read more about the Pilatus PC-12NG in the November 2013 issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. Reporting for Aviation Consumer and AvWeb, I'm Larry Anglesano. Thanks for watching, and thanks to Jed Johnson for showing us this PC-12NG.